Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Fossil Rush. Last time I told you I'd show you another one of my fossil collections, and as you can see here, I'm showing you my trilobites. These are the Calamine trilobites of Morocco from 450 million years ago. Blimey, that was a long time ago. And as you can see, I've got a large number of these specimens. I do have this one specimen. It may just look like a pebble to you, but it's actually a Calamene trilobite, but extremely and highly degraded. And you almost see nothing of what it was formerly, but it does resemble the good shape and the grooving patterns that you see on these. A large variety of trilobites that span from tiny little witty bitty creatures to creature to trilobites up to the size of my head, really. Amazing. And yet, what do they remind you of? What do they look similar to? I'll tell you. That's wood lice. Your garden variety little woodlouse. You see them everywhere when you go plucking into the gardens. And yet, they're completely not related at all. And this is something called a comparative evolution, where something evolves to look similar to something else, but yet is different. And this isn't the first time, actually. Think about our dolphins, and then have a comparative look on ichthyosaurs. Such a similarity, and yet completely different species from bygone eras. It just shows that nature has plans and means a sort of body design for certain creatures to take a place in nature. It's even how we can even learn about these prehistoric creatures by learning of what's similar to them in body shape, but also of what is comparable. For a trilobite, it might have been more comparable to that of our crustaceans, such as shrimp or crayfish, to be more comparable. And yet, as successful as these species go, it's a shame that they died out just during the KT mass Permian extinction. There could have been just as many var variables to evolve also during the, uh, the Mesozoic times as well. But then again, I suppose that the trilobites were in turn replaced by the ammonites, which I showed you in one of my previous videos. So in every turn, every species has its time in every ecosystem. Right. 